Welcome to this exciting episode of Gigi's Cookbook. I am dealing with one of my favorite ingredients, chocolate. Oh, it's the most wonderful, glorious type of ingredient or food on earth. Now, when I want fun or um, I want to relax, I go into my kitchen and make something chocolatey. And usually I go for a simple thing called chocolate treats. Now, these things, well, are very famous now and are called actually chocolate lava cakes or they're also known as chocolate fondant. Now, these are very um, gooey and deliciously glorious inside and um, wonderfully chocolatey. I'm sure most of all the kids would like it and also girls, women are um, supposed to enjoy chocolate a lot. So all those women who enjoy chocolate, this is a special treat for you because this is totally easy, the very easy thing or the very um, attractive thing about this recipe. It's, it's absolutely easy and it requires absolutely no time. So it's like going to a spa or going on holiday and uh, totally relaxing. So why are you wasting time? Let's get on with the show. What we start off with is chocolate. Mm. 180 grams of dark chocolate, dark, dark chocolate. Okay, now this um, chocolate has to be, well, um, it has to be into, or it has to be chopped into small pieces or even broken. Doesn't make a difference. Uh, main thing is that uh, it actually needs, um, you know, to be small so that it can melt even uh, faster. So um, now I have got around 180 grams of uh, dark chocolate. Now these have uh, 44 to, yeah, 44 percentage of cocoa in it. The more the cocoa, the better, because we all know that uh, chocolates are, or dark chocolate is actually very good for you. Now, why I chose this, was uh, chocolates are supposed to be, um, you know, especially the dark ones. Um, they contain a whole lot of iron, uh, calcium, minerals, vitamins, um, lots and lots of antioxidants, and flavanol. They have got much more flavanol than, um, well, uh, uh, blueberries, and, and they're totally, totally addictive. Now. The thing we have to do is we have to melt it. Now, I'm going to use a double boiler. And for a double boiler, we need to light, light it, okay? And just chop these or break these. I'm lazy, so I'm just going to relax and break these. Okay, so these are broken into small pieces. Very, very small pieces. Uh, now, if you do not like, for some reason, if you do not like uh, dark chocolate, you can use milk chocolate. Uh, or if you haven't uh, any access to uh, dark chocolate, you can use uh, milk chocolate. Uh, if you use milk chocolate, then you'll have to add, if you want it dark, then you'll have to add a one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Here I'm using 44% of uh, dark chocolate, so it really doesn't make a difference. Now, I'm going to double boil this. I'm not going to put it on direct heat because if I put it on direct heat, it's going to seize. And if it curdles and seizes, then it is going to be a big mess. And that's not what I want. So what I have to do is, with this, I'm going to add around 110 grams of unsalted butter, unsalted about 110 grams of unsalted butter. Let me get my spatula. There you go. In this, it melts. And we keep this. We need these. Okay, whoops. We need these. So we just keep this there. Okay. And around 10 more grams or so. A little bit more, that's it. There. 
Now that has to melt there, okay? Let it be, just leave it. While that's going on, very, very, very easy thing is to break in three eggs, just three eggs, okay? Three eggs, make sure they're very fresh eggs, okay? And then what we do now, this is boiling away and it has to simmer with a very slow heat. Don't make it high, okay? Now, we need around uh, one third cup to half cup of sugar, okay? One third cup to half cup of sugar, mainly because dark chocolate is not as sweet. Now, if it's milk chocolate, you have to add less because milk chocolate has more sugar. You have to add less. So be very careful in that. Now, to this, you add two tablespoons of cornstarch, okay, or corn flour. Two tablespoons, one, and two. Two tablespoons of cornstarch, or even you can use, um, uh, you know, all purpose flour, there's no problem. Next we have to do is just mix the whole thing together. Now, in most of the re other recipes, or most people, they say that you have to um, actually separate the eggs, that is egg whites into egg yolks, and uh, beat both uh, separately, and then mix it. Don't do that, it's not necessary. Uh, this is more than enough, okay? All we need to do is make this glorious yellow goo. Mm. There, now that's done. That's the major part. So around three eggs, um, two tablespoons of flour, and a third cup of uh, sugar, or even less or more, according to how sweet you want it. Now, this is done. I think my butter and my chocolate is melting slowly, so I'll just aid it along. Mm, lovely. All those chocolate addicts, chocolate lovers will really love this. Okay, now this is more than enough. We'll just let it melt in the heat. There is already steam coming up, so let me just keep on leaving, we just leave it so that it will melt all together. Okay, now by that time, now this is done, just keep this aside. By the time we have to uh, prepare our ramkins or our glass bowls in which we're going to bake our um, chocolate treats or chocolate fondue or chocolate lava cake, whatever you want to call it. How to prepare it is very, very easy. All you need is to grease it with some. That's why I said not to throw this. We need this. Okay, we can just uh, use it along with this, but I'm going to be more civilized and, well, just brush it along. Take some butter and brush it along. I have got a very healthy, um, recipe of the chocolate lava cake, which does not use butter. I will show it to you in the future episodes. Again, just butter the whole thing. Before that, meanwhile, we have to preheat the oven, okay? We have to preheat the oven to 180. So come with me, let me preheat the oven. Oven's preheated, or preheating, and let's finish off buttering our ramkins or our glass bowls, whatever you want. Now, you can do it in ramkins, or you're supposed to do it in oven-proof um, ramkins. These are oven-proof, 
Okay, so you can actually put it in the oven. There's no problem with it. Give this a whisk. Mm, lovely. Keep on whisking this. Okay, now what we do is just sugar these glass bowls. You can either sugar them or you can um, actually add some cocoa powder. Doesn't make difference. Make sure they're sugared all fine. Okay, so this is done. Now in this, we'll just take this and we don't need this anymore. What we do here is we add a little bit of vanilla essence. Now this is not a mandatory step. You don't need to do this, but you can if you love the uh, taste of um, and the smell of vanilla. Just a bit, probably a quarter teaspoon or something. Okay, and just give it a whisk. It'll, be do it'll really be good if uh, you can actually uh, use pure vanilla extract that will give you a very, very beautiful taste. There, mix it along. Now we can take a glorious chocolate, which is totally melted and hot. Ooh, it's really, really hot. Just cool this a bit. Now let this cool down for a bit, otherwise it's going to curdle the chocolate. So let this cool down a bit. Mm, great. I'll actually show you how wonderful it is. I'm going to just taste. Mm, lovely. It's already put me into a good mood. Just look at that gorgeous chocolate. Okay. Now this has to cool well. Okay before you actually incorporate the chocolate mixture into the egg mixture, egg, sugar, and flour mixture. Now the last step is to incorporate this gorgeous chocolate mixture, which is cooled now, into the egg mixture. The, the chocolate mixture is lovely. Mm. Lovely and gooey. Now, all we have to do is just pour a little bit and temper the mixture. Now tempering, is a process of actually, um, well, bringing the temperatures of the both mixtures uh, at the same uh, level, okay? So this is kind of cold or, well, room temperature, and this is warm. So we need to um, make this into the same, or we need to keep it in a same temperature. So we just pour a little bit of the chocolate mixture. Mm look at it and just whisk it mm, lovely just love this again pour the next spoon and enjoy the smell mm. if the camera wasn't here I would have licked it again mix the whole thing now these, both these mixtures are, well, more or less at the same temperature. All we need to do is pour the whole thing in, the, the whole chocolate butter mixture hmm, into this gorgeous mixture. This is the essence of chocolate. Hmm. This is done yummy and then what I need to do is just mix this dense chocolate very very mm, totally totally yummy mixture gorgeous now all we have to do is now just pour it in or transfer it onto the prepared uh, oven proof dishes or ramkins this is uh, like I said it's buttered and sugared. Now, if you don't want it sugared, you can add cocoa powder. There's no problem. Before that, for added 
for an added indulgence, for an added treat, I'm going to put a hazelnut spread in, in between or in the middle of these um, gorgeous chocolate uh, treats. So for that, you need, you need to have a chocolate hazelnut or ch any chocolate spread. Okay, you can get it in the markets. Uh, it's available in many, many brands. Okay, and uh, you, can, you freeze it or you try to make it as cool as possible. You don't freeze it, you can just refrigerate it and it will be a bit, um, a bit solid. It's better because it will stand up for the heat. Okay, so I'm going to go to my refrigerator and go to get my hazelnut spread. And I'll need, well, I've got an apparatus uh, here somewhere. See, yes, um, this is a nice apparatus which will give me a small scoop of it. So all I need is a very small scoop like that. That's all I need, okay? Just one scoop. Mm. And just going to pour little spoons. Now, well, be as careful as possible, you're going to make a mess because this is a sticky mixture. Just around, well, three-fourths full because it will rise a teeny little bit, okay? Just three-fourths full. Hmm. And the last one. It's done. Well, make problem probably depends upon um, the size of your actual ramkins. This will make around twelve foot six maximum. Now, because these do not have a stand, I have to take the oven rack. Okay, so I'm going to go to my oven. You have to take the oven rack, and it's hot because it's preheated. Just keep it out here. John didn't need this, so we'll just keep this aside. And what we do is, oh, this is hot. Keep these prepared chocolate fondues or treat. And then for added, for an added gooiness, the best thing is to put the hazelnut spread in the middle. So for that, I need just in the middle. This is a surprise center for the one who eats it. Now don't worry, this will, while baking, this, this um, spread will go down in the middle. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, this should be a bit more harder. This is a bit soft because of camera lights. I work under the heat of the camera light. So obviously, uh, the consistency will change, but it actually has to be a bit more harder. Okay, now this is done. It refuses to get out of my spoon, very stubborn. And all we have to do is just transfer this into an a waiting oven, 180 for just around 10 minutes, not more than that, because we don't want to fully cook it. We want, um, the top of it or the outside exterior to be nice and um, hard and uh, inside should be soft and welcomely gooey and delicious okay so now this is still ouch Ooh, it's still a bit hot i have to be very very careful okay and whoops i have to be very careful Let these darlings bake, okay, just help them to place them correctly. These darlings bake for just about 10 minutes, not more than that, and we'll come back. Now it's been around, well, 12 to 13, 14 minutes, 
um, depending upon your oven, okay, you can keep it for uh, 200 degrees, but then you'll have to uh, just keep it for 10 minutes. Anyway, this is mine is uh, right about done. Let's go and check. Huh? So, carefully. Oh, it's yes. Wow. Wonderful. Let's keep this here. Now, this is, you can see, it's a bit jiggly in the center, but it's nice and firm outside. Okay. Now, let's just transfer this onto the stove. Oops. Very hot. Yep. I'm impatient. That's why I do stuff like this. And my hands... Well, they can withstand heat. Don't need this. Keep this aside. And now, you can notice the big jiggly. Okay. Let me just try to upturn one. Now, the easy part is that all we can do, uh, we, you know, if it's in pots, you can just eat it just like this with a teaspoon or something. You can just dig into it and have it. But um, if you want to be really beautiful, you, if you want to present it to someone very, uh, very nicely, then uh, I suggest carefully just upturn this. Now my chocolate treat is ready and I am ready to indulge in this glorious, totally yummy thing. Now you can notice the inside is a bit jiggly. Okay, see it's nice and jiggly. And the outside, the crust, is lovely and crisp or uh, crusty on the outside. Inside, it's lovely and jiggly. You can actually see the look. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and eat for my for my pleasure, because this chocolate pleasure, mm -hmm. absolutely, totally delicious, and a really good mood en enhancer. So, hmm. you go ahead, make these chocolate treats, and let me finish off this glorious, 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 gorgeous chocolate treat.